Hi, my name is Maria, and I'm here to talk to you about some easy tips my family uses to save money by reducing our energy and water footprint. Many of your neighbors already practice behaviors that save energy and water. Please join them. Use your own habits to reduce waste in your home. Remember to pay attention so you can learn these tips and pass the short quiz at the end of this video. To ensure that you're not spending more money than you need to, here are some quick and easy ways to give energy and water conservation a helping hand. Let's start with lights. Remember to turn lights off when you leave the room and replace standard incandescent bulbs with the CFL or LED bulbs. These newer bulbs last up to 10 and 25 times longer and use about one fourth of the electricity. When CFL or LED bulbs reach the end of their lifetime, find out where you can properly dispose of them as they shouldn't be thrown away with regular trash. Also, adjust your curtains and blinds to let sunlight in or out, depending on the desired room temperature and light. Almost half of home energy costs come from heating and air conditioning. On cold days, turning down the heat to 55 to 60 degrees at night or when you aren't home can make a big difference in your energy use. Remember to turn down the heat at least 15 minutes before bedtime or when you leave your home for the day. On warm days, use a room fan instead of an air conditioner or set the air conditioner to no lower than 75 degrees. Remember to turn your air conditioner off or to a higher temperature 15 minutes before leaving your home. In addition, make sure that all air vents are unblocked and that air filters are changed regularly. More energy is conserved when heating and cooling systems don't have to work as hard. Appliances Plug appliances, chargers, printers, games, computer equipment, and all other electronics into power strips and turn the power strips off when not in use. If you don't have a power strip, unplug appliances when not in use. Even when turned off, appliances still consume a considerable amount of energy. Don't forget, if it has a light on, even a small one, it is using electricity. Also, Keeping your refrigerator at least half full, even with bottles of water, will reduce the amount of energy needed to keep contents cold. When cooking, put lids on cooking pots and use heavy pans or iron skillets to retain heat. Once boiling or desired cooking temperature is reached, lower the heat. When using the oven, don't preheat and try not to peak. Also, turn off oven five minutes before item is cooked. Remember to keep the door closed until food is done. When possible, cook with small appliances, such as a crock pot, microwave, or toaster. When using your dishwasher, run only full loads and air dry dishes instead of using the dishwasher's drying cycle. Water, wash only full loads in your washing machine. Run the cold water setting and use the water saving feature if your machine has one. Washing clothes in hot water uses approximately twice as much energy as washing in cold. If you are worried about clothes getting clean, don't. Modern detergents have been engineered to get clothes just as clean with cold water as with warm water. After washing, hang dry clothes when possible. Also, showering for five minutes or less is more efficient than taking a bath. And finally, Never run water continuously while shaving, brushing your teeth, or doing dishes. By changing some of the habits we went over in this video, you will be lending a helping hand to conserve energy and water. You can keep up with your neighbors, cut costs, and do your part to reduce energy and water waste. Please join us!